Yo, 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 what's up, peeps? This is your dad, the Robs. Welcome to my channel. Good day to all of you. How are you guys doing? Kumusta po ang lahat? And welcome again to my channel. This is your daddy Robs. Before we start, isang mahaba, masaya at malaking shout out po sa ating lahat. Unahin ko na po sa aking wifey at sa aking anak. At sa aking mga kapamilya back there in the Philippines at ganoon na rin sa aking mga kapamilyas back there in the US. Let's start with... Sinito ang shout out to you, Busy TV shout out to you, Lennon Otana shout out to you, Just Lopez shout out to you, Just My World shout out to you, By22 shout out to you, Melch Kahiyagan TV shout out to you, Dennis Hugo shout out to you, JC Production shout out to you, Charlie TV shout out to you, Sunny TV shout out to you, Nins in TV shout out to you, Aljon Getatua shout out to you, Monsky Vlog shout out to you. Again, we have No More Pereira, shout out to you. Buhay Italia Gen and Family, shout out to you. Mitch the Explorer, shout out to you. Ralph Dada Toyogo, shout out to you. Nel Bautista, shout out to you. Kenneth Azuelo, shout out to you. Orlando Bermuda, shout out to you. Moncalicio, shout out to you. Raquel Valera, shout out to you. Mary Pai, shout out to you. Nikki Van Ilongo Vlogger, shout out to you. Freshwater Adventure, shout out to you. And we have La Quacha Moto Vlogs. Shout out to you, Jobs TV. Shout out po sa yo. And we have Cry Cry. Shout out to you, the Southern Rebel 91. Shout out to you, man. And we have Jansky Senoron. Shout out to you. And we have Negren Sako. Shout out to you. Mega Thomas. Shout out to you. And Sean Smith. Shout out to you. And we have Christy V. Open Mind. Shout out to you. Jahe De Banyas Vlogs, shout out to you. Ororoy TV, shout out to you. Dear Ati Isai, shout out to you. Sinoy Dubai, shout out to you. Kiko Arp, shout out to you. Candy Planto, shout out to you. Vash1890, shout out to you. Robert Vlog TV, shout out to you. I'm Linzar, shout out to you. And we have Ronel Alibayan, shout out to you. Igolin San Mountaineer, shout out to you. Gilbert Sandy Vlog, shout out to you. Norlin Gisang, shout out to you. Lisel Perez, shout out to you. We have Graciela Francesca, shout out to you. Michael Saita, shout out to you. We have Ariane Billy, shout out to you. Family Game TV, shout out to you. We have Aga Ancheta, shout out to you. We have Philam Adventures, again, shout out to you. And we have Team Talk, shout out to you. We have Zeus Bisa Vlog, shout out to you. And so, we also have Duquesa TV. And of course, last but not the least, we have Mantuni TV. Shout out to you, man. At para naman sa ating mga kapamilyas, kapatid, at kapuso dito sa Jeda, isang masaya at merry shout out sa inyo. My F6 family, we have Kuya Jojo, Kuya Dayo, JPBL, and Glenn. We also have Boss Bale, shout out to you. Mr. Billy Josh and Fadi, our manners, Lot Lot, and friends, Pam and JM. Armando Ramos, J.R. Magallanes, Jimmy Ganados, we have Albert Poblacion, Ramsky, Chrissy Ryan, Boss Mark, and Byron Fernandez. Shout out to all of you. Ayun lang mga pips. Thank you so much po sa inyong lahat. Pips! Ayun na nga mga pips. Sa dami ng aking mga bagong kaibigan at mga ka-vloggers niya, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel. At sa aking mga viewers, kung kayo ay hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please click the subscribe button. At para ma-update ka sa lahat ng aking mga videos, please click the ring bell button below. Ayun lang mga peeps, maraming salamat po. Thank you, thank you so much sa lahat-lahat. So ayun na nga mga peeps, for today's vlog, we have high blood. Bakit nga ba nagkakaroon tayo ng mataas na dugo o tinatawag nating high blood pressure? 
Ito nga ba ay dahil nagagalit ka, sobrang saya, sobrang stress? Ano nga ba ang mga dahilan at paano nagkakaroon ng mataas na dugo? So sit back, relax, and enjoy watching. High blood pressure is a common condition in which the long-term force of the blood against your artery walls is high enough that it may eventually cause health problems, such as heart disease. Blood pressure is determined both by the amount of blood your heart pumps and the amount of resistance to blood flow in your arteries. The more blood your heart pumps and the narrower your arteries, the higher your blood pressure. You can have high blood pressure hypertension, for years without any symptoms. Even without symptoms, damage to blood vessels and your heart continues and can be detected. Uncontrolled high blood pressure increases your risk of serious health problems, including heart attack and stroke. High blood pressure generally develops over many years, and it affects nearly everyone eventually. Fortunately, high blood pressure can be easily detected. And once you know you have high blood pressure, you can work with your doctor to control it. Symptoms Most people with high blood pressure have no signs or symptoms, even if blood pressure readings reach dangerously high levels. A few people with high blood pressure may have headaches, shortness of breath or nosebleeds, but these signs and symptoms aren't specific and usually don't occur until high blood pressure has reached a severe or life-threatening stage. Causes There are two types of high blood pressure. Primary, essential, hypertension for most adults, there's no identifiable cause of high blood pressure. This type of high blood pressure, called primary, essential, hypertension, tends to develop gradually over many years. Secondary hypertension Some people have high blood pressure caused by an underlying condition. This type of high blood pressure, called secondary hypertension, tends to appear suddenly and cause higher blood pressure than does primary hypertension. Various conditions and medications can lead to secondary hypertension, including obstructive sleep apnea, kidney problems, adrenal gland tumors, thyroid problems, certain defects you're born with congenital in blood vessels, certain medications, such as birth control pills, cold remedies, decongestants, over-the-counter pain relievers and some prescription drugs, illegal drugs, such as cocaine and amphetamines, risk factors high blood pressure has many risk factors, including age, the risk of high blood pressure increases as you age. Until about age 64, high blood pressure is more common in men. Women are more likely to develop high blood pressure after age 65. Family history. High blood pressure tends to run in families. Being overweight or obese. The more you weigh the more blood you need to supply oxygen and nutrients to your tissues. As the volume of blood circulated through your blood vessels increases, so does the pressure on your artery walls. Not being physically active. People who are inactive tend to have higher heart rates. The higher your heart rate, the harder your heart must work with each contraction and the stronger the force on your arteries. Lack of physical activity also increases the risk of being overweight. Using tobacco. Not only does smoking or chewing tobacco immediately raise your blood pressure temporarily, but the chemicals in tobacco can damage the lining of your artery walls. This can cause your arteries to narrow and increase your risk of heart disease. Secondhand smoke also can increase your heart disease risk. Too much salt sodium, in your diet. Too much sodium in your diet can cause your body to retain fluid, which increases blood pressure. Too little potassium in your diet. Potassium helps balance the amount of sodium in your cells. If you don't get enough potassium in your diet or retain enough potassium, you may accumulate too much sodium in your blood. Drinking too much alcohol. Over time, heavy drinking can damage your heart. Having more than one drink a day for women and more than two drinks a day for men may affect your blood pressure. If you drink alcohol, do so in moderation. For healthy adults, that means up to one drink a day for women and two drinks a day for men. One drink equals 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine or 1.5 ounces of 80 proof liquor. Stress. High levels of stress can lead to a temporary increase in blood pressure. If you try to relax by eating more, using tobacco or drinking alcohol, you may only increase problems with high blood pressure. Certain chronic conditions. Certain chronic conditions also may increase your risk of high blood pressure, such as kidney disease, diabetes and sleep apnea. 
Complications Uncontrolled high blood pressure can lead to complications including heart attack or stroke. High blood pressure can cause hardening and thickening of the arteries atherosclerosis, which can lead to a heart attack, stroke or other complications. Aneurysm. Increased blood pressure can cause your blood vessels to weaken and bulge, forming an aneurysm. If an aneurysm ruptures, it can be life-threatening. Heart failure. To pump blood against the higher pressure in your vessels, the heart has to work harder. This causes the walls of the heart's pumping chamber to thicken, left ventricular hypertrophy. Eventually, the thickened muscle may have a hard time pumping enough blood to meet your body's needs, which can lead to heart failure. Weakened and narrowed blood vessels in your kidneys. This can prevent these organs from functioning normally. Thickened, narrowed or torn blood vessels in the eyes. This can result in vision loss. Metabolic syndrome. This syndrome is a cluster of disorders of your body's metabolism, including increased waist circumference, high triglycerides, low high-density lipoprotein HDL, cholesterol, the good cholesterol, high blood pressure and high insulin levels. These conditions make you more likely to develop diabetes, heart disease and stroke. Trouble with memory or understanding. Uncontrolled high blood pressure may also affect your ability to think, remember and learn. Trouble with memory or understanding concepts is more common in people with high blood pressure. Dementia. Narrowed or blocked arteries can limit blood flow to the brain, leading to a certain type of dementia, vascular dementia. A stroke that interrupts blood flow to the brain also can cause vascular dementia. 17 effective ways to lower your blood pressure High blood pressure, or hypertension, is called the silent killer for good reason. It often has no symptoms, but is a major risk for heart disease and stroke. There are two numbers involved in the measurement, systolic blood pressure. The top number represents the pressure in your blood vessels when your heart beats. Diastolic blood pressure. The bottom number represents the pressure in your blood vessels between beats, when your heart is resting. 1. Increase activity and exercise more using the stairs. Walking instead of driving. Doing household chores. Gardening. Going for a bike ride. Playing a team sport. 2. Lose weight if you're overweight if you're overweight, losing even 5 to 10 pounds can reduce your blood pressure. Plus, you'll lower your risk for other medical problems. 3. Cut back on sugar and refined carbohydrates The low-carb diet lowered blood pressure by 4.5 mm Hg diastolic and 5.9 mm Hg systolic. The diet of low-fat plus the diet drug lowered blood pressure by only 0.4 mm Hg diastolic and 1.5 mm Hg systolic. Another side effect of a low-carb, low-sugar diet is that you feel fuller longer, because you're consuming more protein and fat. 4. Eat more potassium and less sodium Potassium is a double winner, it lessens the effects of salt in your system, and also eases tension in your blood vessels. Low-fat dairy foods, such as milk and yogurt. Fish. Fruits, such as bananas, apricots, avocados, and oranges. Vegetables, such as sweet potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, greens, and spinach. 5. Eat less processed food Most of the extra salt in your diet comes from processed foods and foods from restaurants, not your salt shaker at home. Popular high-salt items include deli meats, canned soup, pizza, chips, and other processed snacks. Foods labeled low-fat are usually high in salt and sugar to compensate for the loss of fat. Fat is what gives food taste and makes you feel full. 6. Stop smoking Smoking causes an immediate but temporary increase in your blood pressure and an increase in your heart rate. The chemicals in tobacco can increase your blood pressure by damaging your blood vessel walls, causing inflammation, and narrowing your arteries. The hardened arteries cause higher blood pressure. The chemicals in tobacco can affect your blood vessels even if you're around secondhand smoke. 7. Reduce excess stress. 8. Try meditation or yoga. 9. Eat some dark chocolate Dark chocolate should be 60-70% to 70 cacao. A review of studies on dark chocolate has found that eating 1-2 to two squares of dark chocolate per day may help lower the risk of heart disease by lowering blood pressure and inflammation. The benefits are thought to come from the flavonoids present in chocolate with more cocoa solids. The flavonoids help dilate, or widen, your blood vessels. 10. Try these medicinal herbs Black bean 
Cat's Claw Incaria rinkophila, Celery Juice Opium Gravolens Chinese Hawthorn Critigus panatifida, Ginger Root Giant Daughter Cascutta Reflexa Indian Plantago Blonde Cilium Maritime Pine Bark Pinus Pinister River Lily Crinum Glaucum Ricel Hibiscus Sabdorifa Sesame Oil Sesamum Indicum Tomato Extract Lycopersican Escalentum Tea Camellia Sinensis Especially Green Tea and Oolong Tea Umbrella Tree Bark Musanga Sacropioides 11. Make sure to get good, restful sleep 12. Eat garlic or take garlic extract supplements Fresh garlic or garlic extract are both widely used to lower blood pressure. 13. Eat healthy high-protein foods Fish, such as salmon or canned tuna in water, eggs, poultry, such as chicken breast, beef, beans and legumes, such as kidney beans and lentils, nuts or nut butter such as peanut butter, chickpeas, cheese, such as cheddar. 14. Take these BP-lowering supplements Omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acid Adding Omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids or fish oil to your diet can have many benefits. Whey protein This protein complex derived from milk may have several health benefits, in addition to possibly lowering blood pressure. Magnesium Magnesium deficiency is related to higher blood pressure. A meta-analysis found a small reduction in blood pressure with magnesium supplementation. Coenzyme Q10 In a few small studies, the antioxidant Coke 10 lowered systolic blood pressure by 17 mm Hg and diastolic up to 10 mm Hg. Citrulline Oral L-citrulline is a precursor to L-arginine in the body, a building block of protein, which may lower blood pressure. 15. Drink less alcohol Alcohol can raise your blood pressure by 1 mm Hg for each 10 grams of alcohol consumed. A standard drink contains 14 grams of alcohol. What constitutes a standard drink? 1 12-ounce beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Moderate drinking is up to 1 drink a day for women and up to 2 drinks per day for men. 16. Consider cutting back on caffeine Caffeine raises your blood pressure, but the effect is temporary. It lasts 45 to 60 minutes and the reaction varies from individual to individual. 17. Take prescription medication if your blood pressure is very high or doesn't decrease after making these lifestyle changes, your doctor may recommend prescription drugs. They work and will improve your long-term outcome, especially if you have other risk factors. However, it can take some time to find the right combination of medications. Talk with your doctor about possible medications and what might work best for you. You're familiar. You're familiar.